Hi there, today I'll be showing you how to create a Minecraft server for the Java edition of Minecraft. The first thing we're going to do is head over to Google Chrome and type in papermc.io. We'll click on the downloads button, select paper, and download the latest file here. While this is downloading, I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop and call it Minecraft server. We can open up this folder and place the downloaded file directly into this folder. Next up, we're going to create a new text document, open it up and place the command that's provided in the description of this video. It should look something like this. There's a couple things we can change here. The first one is this Minecraft server title. This is just the title of your Minecraft console window. We can change this to whatever we'd like. In this case, I'm going to change it to server console, but you can also leave it the way it was. The next thing you can change is the server RAM. You can see I've dedicated one gigabyte of RAM to the server. You can adjust this as needed for your Minecraft server. The last thing we're going to change is the server file.jar. We're going to replace server file with the name of our paper MC file that we've just downloaded. I'm going to click rename and copy the name of this file and replace server file with the paper MC file name. Awesome. Now we're going to save this as a batch file. To do this, we'll click file, then save as. We can change the file name to something like run.bat and then save as type. Instead of saving as a .txt file, we'll change this to all files. Now when we click save, you can see we've created a new file in our folder called run.bat. Awesome. We can delete our original text document and double click on the run file. As you can see, our window is called server console. And now we've got a message, failed to load eola.txt. You need to agree to the eola in order to run the server. To do this, we're gonna press any key to exit out of the window, open up our eola.txt file, and change eola equals false to eola equals true. We can save the file, close out of it, and run the server one more time. Once you see the word done, your server is online. We can test this out locally by logging into our Minecraft client, clicking on multiplayer, and adding a server with the server address localhost. If we click done, you'll see our Minecraft server appears with the message of the day of Minecraft server. We can actually log into the server and walk around. If you head over to our server console, you'll see it says my username has joined the game. And if we type anything in the chat, you'll see it'll update that in our server console as well. Awesome. Now, before we can allow friends to join the server, we have to do something called port forwarding. To do this, we're gonna open up our command prompt by typing CMD in the search bar and opening up the command prompt app. And all you have to do is type in IP config. What we're looking for is default gateway. Should be at the very bottom here. We wanna copy these numbers right here. We're gonna select the numbers and then press the enter key to copy it. And then we're gonna head back to our browser. We can paste this at the top and head over to this page. This page will most likely look different for you depending on your internet provider. In my case, it's asking me to log in with a username and password to access my router settings. If you're not sure what your username and password is, I would suggest looking up the default username and password for your specific router. In my case, I'm using a Hytron router, so in a new tab, I'm going to look for Hytron default password. I'm going to click on the first result here and scroll down, and you can see the default username is cussadmin and the default password is password. Like I mentioned, this will be different for you 
So instead of searching for Hytron, replace that with the name of your router. I'm going to try logging in. And as you can see, I've been brought to the router settings. Next up, we need to access the port forwarding page. If you're not sure how to access this page, open up a new tab. This time, I'm going to look for Hytron port forwarding. I'm going to click on the first page. And it gives me some steps here. First, I need to log into the modem, which I've already done. Then I need to select the basic menu. And finally, select the port forwarding submenu. I'm going to go back to my router settings. I need to click the basic menu. And there you go, the port forwarding submenu. Awesome. Now that we're on the port forwarding page, we need to add a new rule for our Minecraft server. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and click the add rule button. This page might look a little bit different for you. The only things we need to input are a name, a protocol, a public port and a private port, and a local IP address. Under the name, we can type in Minecraft. For protocol, we're going to switch this to TCP. For public port range, we're going to enter 25565, which is the default external port for Minecraft. I'm going to copy this and paste it in every other field. On your page, there might only be one input field for the public port. In my case, it's asking for a range, so I've put the same number in both fields, but if there's only one input field, all you have to do is enter 25565 in each input field. Next up, for local IP address, we're going to enter our IPv4 address. To access this, we're going to go back to our IP config and command prompt. This time, we're looking for IPv4 address. We're going to select these numbers here, press the Enter key to copy, and we'll paste it in the input field here. All we have to do is click the Apply button, and as you can see, we've created a new rule for our Minecraft server. Lastly, I'm going to hit the Save Changes button, and when this is finished, our server should be successfully port forwarded. Great! Now that we've port forwarded your server, your friends can join externally by using your public IP address. If you're not sure what your IP address is, you can open a new tab in Google and search for What's My IP. Perfect! Now all you need to do is copy this IP address and send it to your friends for them to join.